Hi, welcome to another installment of Cecil Weekly. I'm your host, Rob Chernside. We have a special musical guest tonight and a lot of special things for you folks out there. And we may as well get started by introducing our musical guest for the Discover Cecil segment of the show, Rob Muse. Rob, welcome to Cecil. Thanks Rob. for having me. You're, you're quite welcome. So, you're going to play a song for us tonight. Certainly. I've known you for many years, and I've always enjoyed playing drums behind you, playing guitar. You're a great singer, great songwriter. Um, tell us a little bit about your music. How did you get started? How did I get started? Probably like most people our age. The Beatles showed up. I was a jock, but I, you know, it's like, yeah, this music stuff looks fun too, you know. And so, I got in a band early. We had three guitar players, and I was the worst one. So they said, "Oh, you play bass. That has four strengths." And I just never quit. Stayed with it for a long time, and I've been playing out for 53 years. Wow. So you still do some of the original material that you started with, or? Yeah, sure. The cover songs. I didn't, you know, do my own originals then, but sure, I think they've, they've gone through a numerous, numerous lifetimes where a lot of people don't know what they are anymore. But yeah, I do. I do the music we grew up with, and modern updates that basically harken back to that. Well, I do enjoy that. And um, probably it would be good for our viewers to know that you're living in Cecil County now, yes. but you started where? Started in Arlington, Virginia, and then went to Cape May, New Jersey. Cape uh, May, New Jersey. Uh -huh. Went to high school there and played in some bands, and then uh, Mobile, Alabama. Back to Arlington, to Baltimore, and then up here to Cecil, by God. So, and I've been here for, I think, 13 years now. 13 years. So, you locally, you perform weekly, I know, and do an open mic. Why don't you tell us sure. about that? Every Tuesday, I have an open mic at Wesley's in Fair Hill. And I've been doing that for almost five years. And well attended, lots of good people. Every Friday, I'm playing at the Port Vaping Brew, the Port Deposit, right next to the old bank building, which is the Bainbridge Naval Museum. And then I'll be at Station 26 Ale House on February 3rd. Awesome. So, so for our viewers that don't know, maybe you have never been to an open mic, you play the guitar mm -hmm. and you provide equipment, right? We have, yeah. Well, we, an opportunity. It, yeah, an opportunity for anybody. And we have like basically a house band. There's three other guys. Uh, if they want to have us play with them, we will. If they don't, we won't. And it's a good time. And if not a whole lot of people show up, the house band has a good time and plays. But usually we'll have three or four people that want to play. And it's a lot of fun. And that's every Tuesday at Wesley's? Every Ontario. Tuesday at Wesley's. Eight o'clock, right? Eight o'clock. Yeah. Well, that sounds like a winner. That sounds, and I'm yes. sure you hear a lot of different people and playing original music there, too. Some. A lot of people do covers. And I run that, actually, with our good friend Doug Donnelly, who we, we kind of know around here a little bit. Doug Donnelly. That name rings a bell. It does ring a bell, doesn't it? He does, one of those, he, he does one of those bang bang things like you do too. Yes, yes. And does it quite well. Now, I should say that um, you're going to play a song later. You want to tell us about a little bit about what you're going to play? <laughs> Just a love song to my last ex wife. <laughs> what else can you say about it, you know? That's a beautiful song. Yes, yes. It was said that I that I never wrote many romantic songs, so this is my stab at it, and it's not very romantic, but it's it's is, a nice little tune. Is it Jersey influence, like uh, Cape May and Springsteen and no, all that? No, no, it's more swing, Western swing kind of influence. Well, con you know, country is good for humorous songs and song titles. You know, it's you come up with all kinds of the titles might be better than songs. You know, tell your mama to get off the oven; she's too old to be riding the range. Well, right. There's lots of those, so. This is kind of in that vein, but the title's not quite as catchy. I know at one time, Rob, you had a recording studio. I still do. It's not very commercial, but I have one. How does that, how does that all work? Uh, in my case, I have a desktop studio, and it's 24 tracks. A lot of people use computer-based things right now. I'm just, it's hard enough for me to use email, Facebook. You know, so I don't want to have to learn how to do it. So I use this, this 
best top studio, and it has all the capacity that a commercial studio 20 years ago had. And, I mean, and we can all buy these things relatively inexpensive. So I just track most of my stuff down because I play a number of instruments, and I have some people come over when, uh, when they're available to add parts to it. And I wind up making these nice CDs and giving them all away. That's your gigs and things. Well, yeah, I, give, I, I try to sell them. They're still online. You can still get them. And, uh, but nobody's bought much. <laughs> and that's okay. And that's you, really okay. I just, if, if people, in my, I feel successful if somebody somewhere who doesn't know me, doesn't know my family, doesn't know anything about who I am, somehow comes in possession of one of my CDs and actually likes it enough to play it regularly. And if that's one person, I'm successful. Everything after that's just a matter of numbers. Well, music really is all about sharing anyway. Yeah, it's just communication. It's the communication. universal language, you could say. That's, that's true. That's true. So let's give a listen to your song. Okay. Thank you for being on Cecil TV. One more question. If somebody wanted to hire you or your group, how would they get in touch with you? Probably, I'll give you a email address is probably the best. RG. H U G H E S J R, that's R G Hughes Jr. at yahoo.com. And that will do it. The old computer should be ringing off the hook. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Rob. My baby like tea My baby she like coffee and she like tea Yeah, my baby like my money but I don't think my baby like me I came in last night said honey don't you love your man Came in last night I said don't you love your man said, show me the money, honey, and I'll do what I can. Well, I don't know, but I've been told that my baby thinks my pockets are lined with gold. I know there's one thing I understand. When my money's all gone, I'll be a lonesome man. Get a band here. Thinks my pockets are lined with gold. Oh, there's just one thing that I understand. When my money's all gone, I'll be a lonesome man. Now my baby like coffee, you know my baby like tea. Yeah, my baby, she like coffee and she like tea. My baby like my money, but I don't think my baby like me. Yeah, my baby love my money, but I don't think she cares about me. Hey, got a dollar? Here it is, one month into the into the production of Cecil Weekly on Cecil.tv. We've had a variety of guests. We've covered a variety of topics, and this has just been a small sampling of what uh, Cecil.tv has to offer. Um, we've shown you the, the diversity of Cecil County just in a little bit of a way. We hope that you have been enjoying the show, Cecil Weekly, including the Discover Cecil uh, musical segments we have every week thus far. We want to do much more, and we want you to help us. Um, perhaps the best way for you to help is to start by helping you discover a little bit more about what Cecil.tv is all about, who we are, who some of the people involved in this project are, and without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to producer, uh, interviewer, and brainstormer-in-chief, Allison Donnelly. Thanks, Rob. Welcome, Allison, to this side of the camera. <laughs> Good so, to be here. It is great to be here. 
especially at my age. Now, you're <laughs> the younger representation of the show. How did That's you true. get involved in doing this show with your dad, producer, director, Doug Donnelly? Well, you could say I was born into it, um, simply because I have always hung out with my dad a lot, and um, he's a musician, so I've followed him to gigs, and so this is the this is the next thing, and here we are at Cecil TV. I know from personal experience, uh, sitting with Doug, your dad. On a scholarship committee 20 some years ago, he said that he wanted to start a TV station in Cecil County. Mm -hmm. So you were just a young sprout at that time, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I was a very young sprout. Yeah. So it's it's come a long way, and finally I think it's, it's time. And I think I've seen you, Allison, in some of the clips interviewing people actually out in the community. Yeah, well, that's how that's how we started. Before we um, switched to the the weekly segment, we decided that we would follow the political um, season, the uh, campaign season in Cecil County. So we went to several different forums and met up with some candidates who were campaigning in the area. And so I interviewed a few different people back then. But now so we're doing this. I'm sorry, some of whom won and some of whom did not win. Right. Yep. It would be great to get the ones that, are, that uh, won and are currently holding the reins of government to come on the show. Yes, it would be great to interview, especially le leaders of local government recently elected and, and um, those who, were, who are still in office. Well, that sounds to me like that would be your bailiwick to talk with these people. <laughs> yeah, I'd love that. Great. So... The young folks out there in Cecil County, they have their phones, they see television on their phones, and I've recently learned how to do this. How do you think young folks can get involved in Cecil.tv, and uh, what kind of content do you think we might want to share with them? Well, as viewers, I think um, young people in Cecil County can Talk, tell their friends, share share our videos on social media. We really would like to um, reach a lot more people, um, young people and old people. Um, but if um, viewers out there are interested in, in getting involved in making Cecil.tv, then they uh, we have a lot of needs for, for social media and um, and introducing us to new content like um, sports and the we have a lot of the music scene covered but stuff that's going on in schools and churches and um, anything you can think of well Allison I'm looking forward to expanding with the show and I've been enjoying these four weeks thus far and I'm looking forward to many more I'm sure that we're on a roll here thank you for being on camera now what I'm going to do is I'm going to vacate the host seat and offer it up to you and let you interview your dad, producer, director, instigator, <laughs> innovator, Doug Donnelly. Sounds Fair great. enough? Yep. Deal. Thanks. Thanks, Rob. It's great to be here. My name is Allison Donnelly, and I'm here with my dad, Douglas Donnelly, to talk to you about Cecil.tv. So, what is Cecil.tv? Cecil.tv is an effort to create community television for Cecil County. Other areas have some forms of community television, like public access and so forth, like Harford County has a, a rather evolved public access system. Uh, but we have had nothing over the years. It's kind of a media void. and. Um, and I think it's, uh, it's time. So why did you start Cecil.tv? As I said, Cecil County is a bit of an electronic media vacuum. We watch other people's news on the TV. We watch, and in fact, the only time we ever see Cecil County on television are, are you, they're usually the most tragic 
disasters. Um, there's, there's, though, I'm a big fan of the local papers, but increasingly people get their information from video, and particularly the younger people. Um, so up to a few years ago, it would have been very costly to, for any person like me, any individual to come along and create uh, a local television. But with the pervasive use of the internet and the lowering costs of technology, it just seems like a, a great time to try this. And what's your background? Well, my background is uh, mostly in uh, computing. And, uh, you know, I sort of, I just evolved since the 80s, you know, using PCs and doing, working on larger systems professionally. And, you know, I have a sort of a general networking system administration background. But at the same time, I studied documentary production in New York and, and, uh, and I moved to Cecil County 25 years ago. It's hard to believe it's that long. But um, um, really, when I f first came here, I've, been, I've remained an observer of the media here and, uh, and have always wanted to try this. How can other people participate? Well, um, we, um, if you, you know, if anyone out there has uh, an interest or an untapped talent in the area of journalism or electronic media um, or film production or you want to be on camera, you like to read or, you know, wish you could have been on radio or whatever, this is a time, this is an opportunity to join a collaborative team of like-minded volunteers and, uh, and, and we can build something here. And finally, what can we expect in the future from Cecil.TV? Well, um, as anyone who's been watching what we've done so far is, uh, you know, we, there are all kinds of people, at, like everywhere, but Cecil County contains an endless variety of people that have stories to tell, talents to display, and, and that's just what we can do in the studio. There's, um, there are, you know, the, we have a government that needs to be reported on, we have sports, we have clubs, churches, it really, there's no end to, uh, to what might be of interest. We need to be, you know, it's television in which we can sort of watch ourselves, watch your neighbors. And, uh, but not in a creepy way. And not in a creepy <laughs> way. Um, yeah. Great.